What up, fiends and goblins? Plains. <laughs> Whatever. Good evening, ladies and gentle beasts. Today I'm playing some... <laughs> nothing to do with Frankenstein or any horror cliche game. That door appeared to be tilted. Perhaps it's just my imagination. It definitely is, but it definitely looked like it was tilted. This time I'm going to play better, by which I mean never jump cutting at all unless I spend 20 minutes looking for a key or something. I know I shouldn't be doing it so much, but I mean, obviously I'm a narcissist and love to hear myself talk with a good comedic timing. So if there's not a good comedic timing, I'm obviously going to chop out footage of everything in history so as you can hear me better. Tempted to cut there, but not going to. That guy obviously is meant to have me not go over this way. I'm probably supposed to go around. I'm not sure where though, but hey, we're gonna find that out together, aren't we? I don't even remember if I went up this ladder ever. Probably not. Yes, I, I did. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is that weirdly scaled chest, so I could come in here. Very fantastic. I never signed for that. Since when a watchman has to splash in the stagnating waters of the canal? It was Gred that had to do it, but he got ill or something. My arse. Heard that the sewer worker went mad. By dragging along the whole day in that shit out there, it would drive anyone insane. He might have seen a beast or something. I'm sure it was one of these last spiders of Roxburgh, and he got scared because he didn't expect to meet one. Montes think it's a pagan creature. Yeah, right. It's been a tavern long time since they deserted the city. Now he's holed by the mechanists, and I must settle in that goddamn cabin. And there's a guy what got rubbed out last night. All access to the corridors were locked, but seems Lieutenant doesn't give a damn about it. There's nothing new since last watch, except that I have to patrol by night in that stinking mud. Tomorrow, I'll yell for a little bonus or something. I'm sick of it. Hey, I know another guy who's yelling for a bonus, but I don't remember where that is, so I'll find it when I find it. Okay, okay. Whoops, I cut. I mean, sh sheer force of habit. This time, however, I'm going to go to a place I think I may not have been. No, wait, I did. I just went here, and I was like, why can't I go here? Ugh. Anyways, okay, that's that's fine because there's other places I think I may not have been. There's that place over there, but that guy's guarding it. But then there's also this place with this bum who probably doesn't care about me. So uh, obviously, uh, tiptoeing across the bridge is the greatest footage ever. This door is the most worthy door to be creepy. And uh, yeah, it it. Hey there, spiders. It is weird that uh, this is like these textures don't look as impressive as I remember <laughs> I remember the first time I played this I was like holy crap I've never seen an aesthetic like this but I guess I have seen more aesthetics like that since then or something and yeah hey you I want your dewdrop doll thank you it's more comfort to me than it is to you oh I love these little streets that dip down and around and up and down I think this might be leading to uh, some place that could be considered difficult or tricky but no I'm completely wrong ah uh, I, I, I t just I, th I thought there was a city gate around here somewhere as well. Well, that is a creepy looking door, but unfortunately, it is not the door of you know who. Yeah, this is some celery place. Man, I just. Oh, I like to be methodical. I mean, everybody know that. So let's just kind of look around here. Some I looked around there already. I looked around everywhere already. Um, at this point, I'm pretty much just wasting everybody's time. But sewers are never a waste of time. So, let's go into the suit. Gotta practice live talking for when I'm seriously going to be at a rock concert, except it'll be a Let's Play concert. I'll be like, yeah, I'm Finn. I'll come on stage and I'll be like, yeah, Finn, Finn Bo Dash, Finn Bo Dash. And I'll be like, yeah, um, hey guys, name's Finn, playing some being on stage. I'll be like, ah! And I'll be like, okay, this time I'm gonna go here. My commentary will be so good live that I won't even need jump cuts to be funny. That, that That's kind of my point. Oh, hey, clearly supposed to knock you out. This mission... Probably can be ghosted or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Halt yourself. I'm pretty sure Katrimus has ghosted the trilogy here. Uh, but uh, that sounds like it takes patience. So, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do that, am I? And I, I don't sound like a guy who has patience at all. So I'm cutting all around like this. <laughs> okay. Got it out of my system, maybe. Okay, anyway, seriously, stop. It's habit, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so now I'm in here, and I actually happen to know there's a key. You know what? I should be reading about keys before finding them, so maybe I should do that. Yeah. I don't freaking know. There's a guy with a lantern around here. You mark my absolute guarantee. Words! There he is. 
<laughs> there, there he is, and I think I've been here, yeah, because there was that guy there. So, you got to evade the guy with the lantern. That is kind of the challenge, but... Oh, hey. Right, and water, of course, makes a great old din genie sound when you stomp in it. So, unfortunately, that's kind of out. I guess I'll come back there later after having read about what I'm supposed to read ab about. There's some conversations around here, some kind of being quiet. Oh, wait a minute. Here. Whoa. Guards. Uh, well, hello there. That was different. Okay, okay, seriously, seriously, but what's her problem? I don't remember her being up here again. Kind of making it difficult for some stinking old reason, but I absolutely need to be up here because I will jealously conk this woman on the head for hanging out with someone else. No, I can't hide for long, no. Lady Berenice. Well, <laughs> it looks like she just cannot catch a break. Rats and then being knocked out. And then being knocked out some more. Man, what, what is the deal? Well, at least you don't have a lantern. I'm not sure why you care about me knocking someone over the head, though. That is normally a completely silent act. Don't cut. Mutiel, that sounds like a very elven name and very effeminate too, possibly. But what do I know? I mean, this game is French-ish and... That means death. I mean, I'm sorry for pointing out that this game is French-ish. Didn't mean it as an insult or anything. I mean, I'm just saying that these names are not English and, and might be different and stuff. Is someone there? Yeah, it's like... <gasps> yeah, I mean, seriously. Oh, he saw me because I was in the light. <laughs> hey, I won't even cut during the loading the game portion so you can see my awesome save game names. It's very incriminating, you understand? Whoops, the wrong one. Come on, man. That's better. What is your name, sir, and where do you come from? Oh, you're a mutual, of course. What am I, stupid? Well, never mind. Whether I'm stupid is kind of beside the point because I'm still going to play the game. Whether anyone likes a stupid person playing the game or not. Your cries do not seem to carry very far, but I guess I'm supposed to like watch out for this guy or something. Or just not wake him up in the first place. Ah, uh, I don't remember you being such a problem, madam. Um, yeah, this guy... Maybe he's supposed to be sleeping and then he wakes up, or maybe he's supposed to turn, or maybe... He's just kind of there. You know what? This mission is more ghostable than that. I'm fairly darn sure. Oh, what? Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, I hear some snoring, so maybe if I just Strange. rush quickly. From... Shut up! Oh, yeah, there's a window up there, too. Maybe if I'm very soft with the arrow, just... No! I don't remember this being this freaking annoying. Someone there? Lady, you're Robert. turned the other way. Oh, no, you're not. <gasps> Ooh. And you, sir? Sir Raleigh. Fine enough. I just wonder, however, if maybe I could possibly get right up top from here. Who's there? Who are you? Strange noises. Guards! Thief! Don't oh, escape. God. She runs, oh, though. Well. Why would this guy wake up? With there? just one stupid torch that you have to put out to get up to him. What is the intended situation here? Seriously. Now that guy is looking, and I can never get up there without alerting him. Do I have a flashbulb? I've got a flash. Well, likewise. Jesus. Oh, what? Oh, who the hell is noticing... What? Ah, oh, no. oh, never mind. I'll I'll just accept that. This is not a mission that is worth getting frustrated over. This is too good a mission to ruin it by getting all angry and stuff. Okay? Seriously, this is this is a fun mission, so let us treat it as such. Okay? Good. Scroll. This is probably going to be a very amusing guard-like voice. So yeah. Me lord, we've got a request, and I'm writing this note to your lordship, cause I write the bestest. Since you hired us in spring, we like the job very much, and we like the pay fine, and you can pay us more if you like to. But winter's coming, and maybe you don't know, but there aren't no windows in the tower. Nice drapes, sure fancy and all, and I got my blanket, but it gets cold up here. If you could put up some windows... Or let us sleep in the attic where it's plenty warm. Or give us extra hot buns for breakfast. That'll be so great. All of us love hot buns. Many thanks from your humble and vigilant guards, Benoit and co-esquires. 
Uh, I can hide as long as I want. Yeah, I, I love doing voices. That wasn't a standard guard voice, but it was kind of fun. Every time someone says, me lord, I can't help but do the me lord voice. Not sure how good I am at it, but, uh, well, who cares? What are, what are we here? Hammerite tails. <laughs> some body raunchy tails, or just some regular old squirrel tails. I don't know. Wait a minute. I can't get higher. This is it. Oh, fine. Fine, if that's it. You know, I feel the urge to cut so I can search off camera so it's not to be called a fool. Yes, because my point was, in French, uh, E-L is not necessarily feminine. It's only if it's got an extra L-E on the end. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Okay, well, I guess there's probably nothing more in here unless there's something behind the bed. But, nah. All seems to be about as well as could be expected, so let's just care. <laughs> oh, and shall we? Okay, so some guy was looking for me. It's probably that lip guy in the sewer or something. Again, not going there because that seems like scary evil death, and that is never the reason you play thief. Well, some people don't care for that stuff, but I, of course, have no qualms about scary evil death whatsoever. I find it interesting. The bone horde for best mission waifu. Uh, oh, hey, what have we here? A door. Yeah, well, I knew. Locked. Caution! Breaking of door seals is strictly prohibited. Due to the appearance of strange phenomena, the cellar has been closed, awaiting condemnation. Any trespassers will be arrested and given to the builder's children. I need oh. the key to open it. Yeah. Alrighty, you need the key to open it. Very good, Garrett. Not making me waste time with my lockpicks, even though I'm going to anyways, because you've helpfully told me I need a key to open it, as if you somehow know. But Garrett is psychic and telepathic. That's why he's so good with the ladies, because he knows what women want, which is different for every person, because people are people. But hey, I know that's pretty shocking, so if you want to continue thinking that all people of one gender are the same, including your freaking own for some reason, well, go ahead. People to worry about there on the inside. What the? Hey, don't you get started on this too. Yeah, since Sheriff George dead, I have to work with some. What? The sheriff's been murdered? How? No, you tougher. I'm talking about the old city sheriff. The sheriff of this city, he's called True too, but it's, uh, it's synonymous or homonymous. Or I don't remember how it said. They've got the same name, but they're not the same person, you see. Right, what are we gonna do with this guy here? Dunno. Just smash them flat with those things. I need to find a better way than this. <laughs> I love how they excuse the line about Truart by saying the sheriff here is also called Truart. It's completely silly, but it's a memorable little exchange, and uh, clearly, yeah. That is called artificial intelligence, and it's very... <sighs> what? Oh, you know what? The conversation still counts as running when that guy's running away. So even though it sounds like it's done, it starts again. I think here's a good time for a cut. All right, let's carry on and let's just not quick save or load ever, all right? All right. Oh, stop the clacking. Stop it. Think of the children. Sam, my old diary. Marvel be happy because I found a way into the builder's children's warehouse. If I'd only known before that Bully'd got a hideout in this abandoned house's attic, when he don't have a rope arrow, he just goes through the warehouse's ventilation pipes. He's a nutter, but at least that's not the kind of place where they'd expect to find him. He told me the pipes are noisy, so he's just driving the mechanist mad. They're convinced it's the trickster who provokes him, such a bunch of fools. He told me he saw a few statuettes stacked in the middle of some crates, and he thinks he can sell them for a good price. I figure we'll check this out and fill our purses, and then buy some more equipment to get the boss out of prison. Heard that Joseph's group's got a plan for a high stone. If I get this taffin shit done quick, I could give him a hand. Did I find the statuettes in crates? I can't remember where I found stuff. Anyways, that, that's fine. Remembrance makes quick entrance, and we don't want this to end quickly, so forgetfulness is a virtue and a value, and uh, a way to rope a steer. So it's all good. Aren't my improvisational abilities super amazing when I don't have jump cuts helping me out and making me look better? Oh, 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 yes they are. No, they're not. What? Yeah, okay, so here is a place you can go into, and there's spiders. In case you haven't heard, there are spiders. Just in case you haven't heard, this lock picking takes absolutely forever. Oh, except that one didn't. Now, 
this might not actually be ghostable. I'm thinking. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna kill that thing anyway because there it is. <laughs> uh, I think that there may be some difficulty with this. Oh. Oh, hello there. Okay, well, yeah, hmm, I don't know. Now, when spiders are stationary, they do see with their rear ends. Uh, not so when they're moving, though, of course. It's all to do with how they're positioned and so forth. You can understand. Uh, but, but, yeah, hmm. You, you may be able to... Well, I guess you can't supreme this. Pretty sure you can't supreme it, but I guess you could regular ghost, maybe. Not sure. Boy, oh boy, I wish I did not have to deal with spiders. Jeez, those spiders in the desolation of Schmaug. They sure are freaking disgustingly terrifying, aren't they? The only CG that looks kind of real in the whole world of CG use. Yeah. Seriously, you guys, stop making CG people whose skin moves like well-greased bezier curves. How could I be the only one who notices it? Real people... When their mouth moves, it's like very solid and stuff, but when CG people, characters move, it's like I mean, how hard could that be to fix? I mean, come on, people. I'm an expert on making big budget movies here. Come on. That, yeah, you gotta go in the middle of the floor for that. It's clear I'm gonna waste one of my excessively precious water arrows. And, uh, I, I mean, killing these guys is noisy. Even if you blackjack them, they make a scream. Yeah. Okay, so seriously. Let's just be careful. Water arrow use is allowed in regular Ghost, I think. Though it might be discouraged. I'm not quite sure. But hey, it's another lock. That means I can talk about cartoons and CG all the time. Man, oh man. Pixar movies, they sure are decent or something. I don't know, man. Some people are like, hey, I don't like certain Pixar movies. And I'm like, well, I don't like certain other Pixar movies that you like. And then we just punch each other's heads off. Because back in freaking preschool or whatever, I don't know. It was some... Old, old time, some kid was like using the line punched someone's head off, and to me, that was the funniest thing I'd heard in my entire. <laughs> A lie! <laughs> it's even funnier that these spiders didn't hear that. <laughs> What? Well, that's a laugh and three billionths of a quarter. Holy crap. Oh, but there's a statue there. That... <laughs> Seriously. Are we still doing that joke? Well, this mission is kind of oldish, so I guess they were doing that freaking hammer in the crate joke at that point. Good lord on a builder. Oh, hey, that door disappeared. It's not good. Well, it's too late. Ugh. Okay, never mind. That's as good as can be done, so... Let's just try to move on and groove on and be the best we can be. I believe this door was one of the first times I decided to cut in the middle of a lock picking in my original play. And by cut, I mean go into virtual dub and count frame numbers and select portions. And it was really very, very awkward. But uh, this doesn't seem to be that terrible. I remember in the second mission, there was a chest that took absolutely forever in a uh, completely safe spot again. So uh, there's that. Oh, hey, it's another lock. So as I was saying, I mean, clearly, wet a workshop, bloody incompetence, they should just hire me to replace their entire team, and uh, it will be much, much better. James Rolfe is obviously the master of convincing effects. Well, I mean, they weren't supposed to be, but... Sir, oh, hey, wait, I should be done babbling now because the chest is open. And this is Halloween, I'm supposed to be spooky and not, like, all insane and stuff. Clearly. Nobody likes it when I'm crazy. Ever. So, um, from this point forward, I'm just gonna go like, um, hey guys, my name is Fen. Uh, even that's a little too much. Hello. Uh, I call myself Fen Phoenix on YouTube, but you can call me Brian. Oh, okay. And there's this dog kind of going through his head. I find that a little amusing. Sand? I don't know why you'd, you'd call a guy Sand. Wait a minute, I've done this joke before. Just because Sheriff Truart suffers from arachnophobia, eight years ago, he ordered all spiders in town to be exterminated without exception. As a result, a very rare species of arachnid almost disappeared. They're commonly known as Roxburgh spiders, but the scientific name is Monstra on Menstrachno. No, sorry, I can't just remember. I must ask Pinviel again. These spiders can live for more than two centuries, which means that some of the adults killed during the Sheriff's onslaught had witnessed the cataclysm. Rather than insects, we should consider these creatures to be mammals or reptiles, for they seem to have evolved outside nature's laws. Only a handful can still live today. But thanks to astounding good fortune, I managed to discover two living young specimens of this species, presumably about eight months old. Although extremely poisonous, I managed to bring the spiders out of the sewers with Jack's help, but we almost met our end. 
We tore out their glands, sir. Uh, sorry, another scientific name that I cannot remember. They will regenerate, I hope. Pinville is quite sure of it. With this done, we can feed and study them without risking our lives. Pinville keeps the spiders in his basement, but we must send them with the pagans who are hiding in a park southwest of town. This will be a difficult task, and that is why I ask for your help, Mr. W. Please meet me at Fawn Square on the next night of the full moon, around two o'clock, Sand. Fawn Square, that sounds like too pretty a name for this town. Sometimes little silvery bowls are loot, you know. Hey, who would lock their little locked jewelry boxes? I certainly wouldn't. I don't lock any of my doors on my house ever, and I leave all of my valuables right there in the open. I don't even keep my money in the bank or on my credit card. I keep it all in cash money piled right there on the doorstep, so please break into my house and rob from me. It would please me greatly to know that somebody had bothered to go to all that trouble. No, no, seriously, don't even do that. I mean, I'm absolutely begging you desperately don't do that, which is absolutely the way to get everyone to stop doing everything. What am I even saying? Not supposed to get out the window here, of course. This is old dark. There's a gear key. Why can't I take the gear key? Gear keys are normally precious. I don't know, but there's no crates around here, so yeah, I'm, I'm not meant to get in this side. Possibly from outside or something, but I don't even remember where I am. Oh, yeah. Um, here. Yeah, that, that's freaking great. I'm in a house. I know. My babble is even more senseless when I'm just letting it roll. Uh-huh. That's some great play in there, Finn. What? Jesus. Oh, the window's just here. So maybe I could possibly pick that box? No, it doesn't seem likely. Guess the window's just to tease you. Fine enough. Oh, I wish I, I had a map. This is a little more confusing than I remember. I simply must confess. However, there is a door that I remember back near the start that I still don't have a key for. And then there's that cellar that I still don't have a key for. This, wait a minute, I've got a key, and it's- You know what, I should probably just go to Lord Nemez's house, I mean, seriously, that's what I should probably just do. Wait a minute, <laughs> I've missed these useful things, now I've got moss arrows, I could have used those up in the place. Oh yeah, wonder if there isn't some underwater ring or jewel or something in this water, I mean, people be losing those down the toilet all the time. Because romance doesn't work. Ever. It's very hard and challenging. And by that, people don't mean a kind of fulfilling challenge. They mean horrible, horrible, not worth it at all, and then wonder why I don't ever bother. It's because I listen to Hollywood movies instead of real life people. Also, yeah, this guy's gonna come back and I'm going to bop him right on his bonds without a hundred meddling hands getting involved in the mathematical equation, all right? I'm gonna try to uh, detect. It's a good position here. Excellent. And you, sir? You can never truly know someone until you kill them. Sun Tzu said that, or Sun somebody else who's a suspicious XP, but we don't really talk about that. Okay, now I'm in the frickin' sewers, so I can tune my guitar down here as well. But first of all, I'm going to get a key, because you have to get the right key to know what key to tune your guitar into. Do you understand me? Who the hell is walking around? Didn't I take care of absolutely everyone up there? Clearly not. Okay, so up there is that one section, but then over here must be a completely different part because there's people walking around everywhere. But I thought, I thought up there was where that freaking guy in the tower who wants a raise is and stuff, so it must be over here that those people exist. I can't stand people, they scare me. They're always, n always, n always never giving me a loan or a proper record player that doesn't skip. There seems to be, like, a possibility for there to be something behind this box, but I'm, I don't think that there is. Uh, nope. Nope. Not at all. No. Anyways, yes, this is, in fact, the, the water place, and this water is not updated, strangely. No? It's weird. This looks a lot stalker than I remember. I think I said that before, but yeah. There's a key here. I could read about it somewhere, but who wants to do that? It's a library key, slightly misspelled, but... That's okay, man. This mission is adorable enough for me to forgive such an awful transgression. I mean, it's pretty bad. Most people would not forgive it, but I am different. I am Fen. I am merciful. I am fate. I am death. Kind of a generic line, but who am I to really say? Because when you're staying up all night, it's a terrible thing. Indeed. You guys don't want to see this. You don't want to see this. Don't even pretend you do. 
Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not treachery. I'm already your enemy. I'm doing exactly as expected. I, uh, I don't remember this place either. It's weird. Right, well, that was her running all around there. Not sure what my problem is here with alerting everybody. What the hell place is this? What's... Hmm. The Black Barrel Pub has been shut due to ongoing investigations of import tax fraud, illegal alcohol trafficking, and possible links with the Rats of Roxburgh. Knowledgeable citizens are invited to share their information with the City Watch. Rewards possible. Discretion guaranteed. Can you really guarantee discretion? Can you really, sir? I don't know. Where the hell am I? Seriously, where am I? This is no- Oh, I'm here! Tricky to get through here undetected. <laughs> yes. He's done murder. They hadn't enough bows at the armory. All I have is a sword. What the hell can I do with such a weapon up here? Careful. You better keep alert. Like I care. <laughs> and by tricky, you mean impossible. And now I've triggered that guy to be walking around. Hmm. Oh well, yeah, now I know where I am, and now I know why I've never really come up here, because this place is evil deadliness for a thief. And I still can't get into a pub and steal no alcohol. Disappointing. Now, yeah, this is this is a difficult section. I mean, imagine that. Challenge in thief? That never happens. God dang it. Yeah, I'm in here now just to update everybody. I'm coming out of here now just to update everybody. You! You! Go! Go away! Lady, you are doing your job too well, okay? I prefer guards who are completely incompetent. So, if you're trying to get in my pants, which you're not, and I'm being a complete chauvinist pig, then, you know, give me a snout, because you gotta be accurate here. Oh, hey. And there might actually be the start or something? This might be one long tunnel? Oh my god, come on, quickly! Uh. Quickly, don't notice these freaking guys. Holy crap, Buzenas. Well, that's pretty cute. Well, you know, you're defying physics, and in this house, we obey Sir Isaac Newton and possibly other people who had a much clearer and more complicated understanding. Tramp. That's your name. Unfortunate name. You also may or may not live up to your title. Well, clearly you do, but maybe not the other definition. I mean, I don't know. So, yeah, got that key. I really should go to Lord Nemez's place. That's probably about the kind of place that I really uh, can only really go at this point. I think the keys that I have... Nemez Quarters, Library, Hideout... Doesn't sound like that frickin' place near my house, but... Who knows? Let's just... Go into the plot progression type place. I guess I can't go in that window. So now there's this door over here. There's a library and there's a quarters. But neither does anything. This doesn't unlock properly, does it? No! It needs a freaking key device. How can you rely on such a thing? So, I haven't needed a key here yet, but... This house apparently is scary, even though there's a woman clearing her throat, thus undermining the entire fear aspect of this house. Servants always getting in the way and bothering everybody and just being a general freaking nuisance and incompetent. Worthless freaking people who are not even human. I am the consummate ye old lord. You note that the date and part of the text has been crossed out. I fear for the master's health. Since the fire, he has behaved strangely. Of course, he has this burn on his arm, but still, I find him odd. According to the city watch, it was an accident, but for him to be affected like this, it may as well have been criminal. Lady Nemez seems to be preoccupied by him. There may be things I don't know, too. Lord Nemez is not a type to confide to anybody. The problem is, Rourke and I have had to move our beds behind the kitchen. Drenadine could have settled with Lady Nemez, but the poor girl was moved to the junk room instead. I hope the construction on the manor will be over soon. Then we'll be able to move back to our own quarters. Still no news of Francine, and the mechanists are healing prank. Or pronk. It's strange. The master is fond of this rare statuette, and when tidying up the undamaged part of the art collection, no one could find it. It's hard to believe the master let it burn. He practically slept on it, always had it close to him and all. 
The mechanists have come to see the scale of damage. Apparently, we controlled the flames in time, as the manor's structure is untouched. We'll hurry to clean and tidy, so we can get our rooms back. They didn't find Francine's body, so she can't be dead, but who knows where she's gone. Drenadine burnt her hand. Was bound to happen one day. She's so clumsy, this one. Lady Nemez was furious with Mary, as if it was her fault. We really fed up with his favoritism for the other ninny. If Pronk was here, it would be a different story. In addition, the mechanist refused to speak of him. I don't see why. I no longer understand the master. He nagged at the lady all day. A few times I met him today, he looked like a zombie. Even bumped against Rourke as if he hadn't seen him at all. And what a gaze. I don't understand. Drenadine brought down the books the master no longer wants. Rock doesn't know how to read, and I no longer have the time, so what are we going to do with all these? Today, I believed my last hour has come. I was searching the manor with a mechanist, and an enormous beam nearly fell on my head. The manor has to be closed again, because it looks like there's more damage. Three days now, and the master still don't eat. Suddenly, I'm talking differently. Lady Nemez no longer wants anything to do with him. It's not joyful here. Rock's working in the back courtyard again to make a garden for the lady. Must be mad, too. I can't believe it. The master has laid tile up there. Instead of putting money into the whole manor, it seems he wants to set him up nicely in our quarters. Rock's bedroom has turned into a library. Plus, the master has arranged the girls' rooms for Lady Nemez. She will never accept to live among servants, though. We can also forget Prank. His bedroom became a bathroom. We had real rooms and all. Our friends were jealous and such. And now we'll have to sleep in the kitchen or in the broom closets like them. He set up an art gallery too, so he's got a nice place to welcome the other nobles. Strange. When he speaks, he really sounds like a hammerite. And he asked Mary to serve him a lunch big enough for five persons. But he's broken all ties with everybody in the quarter. Who else see? What's going on here, I wonder? Two old pages have been torn out. That's enough! The master took it out on my diary. I found him tearing two sheets out. Plus, he modified some of it. He then tried to set fire on the library. We managed to put it out, but that part of the manor is closed off once again. I'm sure now it's him who set fire on the manor. The madman's locked himself up in his apartment, in the bathroom, actually. Through the pipes, we can hear him muttering about some hymn and reciting all these hammerite sermons. I've gone to the mechanist. I'm writing this in case something happens to me. Rock has disappeared, like Francine and Prank, and Lady Nemez locked Drenadine and herself in their room out of fear. I can't let him get close to Marie. Okay, well, not very consistently. Still, good cog, whilst I listen at this noise. <laughs> well, okay then, here. Yeah. Bathrooms do tend to make noise, and rather disgusting ones too, as Thips 2 will have us uh, here. Thips 2 is a respectable acronym, and not at all like the acronym THUG, which I'm sure they chose intentionally. Uh, kind of silly. Oh, I see. There's two types of servants in the world. Those who understand binary and those who are mechanists. And don't deal with computers. They just match A into A and B into B, and they don't know even what they're doing. They just kind of follow orders. It's slightly anvilicious, hitting you over the head occasionally, but mechanists are just awesome. They're completely just Awesome. I really just don't know why they're so awesome and not at all because they murder pagans and are generally basically Nazis and Complexically Nazis also sister Kayla. Well, uh, that's an interesting name for an old lady. No old ladies are named Kayla. They're named, you know Augustine and uh, Florence Okay, so yeah, this is clearly not the lucrative part of the manor despite there being a little bit of lucre or a lot but it's it's not the it's not the really seriously lucrative part of the matter. I mean, for absolutely frickin' reals. Here, where the hell am I? Oh no, I'm not going going the right way. So here's this, and I'm guessing a key. Oh, I see. It's gonna work on this door. So the library is upstairs, possibly. No, quarters is upstairs, possibly. Well, okay. Now we're getting Roxburghy with the Browns and the Rusts. And a valuable statue? I don't know if that's it. Maybe not, because it was right frickin' there and nobody could find it. So I'm gonna have to find a valuable statue somewhere and remember what that text said that it was. Or where it said that it was. I mean, I, I don't ever remember these things. What is that wire coming down from the ceiling? Are we super wired up here? I need to cut down on that. Oh. Uh, you know what? I 
almost remember the statue being under a beam or something weird, but that's probably just the one I just found. I don't know. Things are getting a little odd up in here. <laughs> this is... Hey, I know who this guy is. He's silent and begins to weep, and so he eases suffering and then say, Poor, pathetic man. You need not wallow, for the next sound you hear will be the thump of your severed cranium hitting the floor. And he screams, ah! And then, ah, blessed silence. <laughs> I wonder who actually voices that guy. You know, also it's funny how the guy, how the text says that he is reciting Hamrite text so they they can have an excuse to reuse that uh, that hilarious freaking dialogue from the uh, dungeony part of uh, Thief Two in Shoals Gate and stuff. Yeah. So book under there, valuable statue might be somewhere. Not quite sure. Come on. I just I just climbed up. Oh, I'm supposed to lean. Of course. That's it. He came to see me. Came back. Yes. He, she, it. Again, always in my head. I know now. I understand now. I see now. Yes. I'm one. Nothing. Them. Me. Part. Totality. Insane. Conscious lucid reason. Yes. Hammerites. Pagans. Mechanists. Illusion. All illusion. Blind and fool. Precursors. Certain. Maybe. No. Yes. They can't exist even though they exist. You. Yes, you who read me, I know it, will know it, knew it, tomorrow, yesterday, whensoever, he talked to me about you, about you all, shadow of shadow, friend and stranger of the inexpressible, of silence. Do you exist? We've already met before, and yet no. In other places, other contexts, other times, other bodies, he had predicted he has projects for you, big ones, key or pawn, even I can't guess, slave of freedom, Ah, I must write these words. Exercise of obvious fact. He knows that you'll understand, but shall you see? The first belongs to the vine. Leaf and woodsy, and unlock the metal. Yes, the twice is liquid flow, stagnant access knowledge. The third is ash from past, pass for the sky. I don't think I've got the third key then. Because the first is the vine and woodsy. That's the little under the door, I guess. Unlock the metal, and the, that's the sewers. Third is ash from past, okay. The second to last is the number from infinite and goes to the place. Ah, and that one in that place leads to the place. He'll find, he'll judge. Yes, go now. I become one with many. Finished, don't forget. No. I don't get to, I don't get to keep this in my inventory, of course. The place, the place, yeah. Ash, okay, well, ash is, is the clue here. I mean, I don't know what the heck pass or past or from sky means. But maybe I could find a fireplace or something. I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, so this one is the library key. Oh, all right, it's a spooky door. It is a bit spooky, but oh wait a minute, maybe this is ash from past. Maybe there's a key here. Could be. I think I see something over there. In fact, yes, the tower key. Well, that's ashy enough, I suppose. The master gave us keys for the manor rooms and his apartments, as he said. I hardly recognize him. He looks like another person since the fire. It was a game for him. It doesn't look easy, he says to us. That's how he speaks now. Mary is afraid of him, and apparently the lady is too. I'm going to talk to the mechanists about him. As soon as we can, Mary and I are going to leave these fools, even if it means working in the country again. Well, there sure are a lot of fools here. Uh, definitely and absolutely, I'll grant you that. Well, oh, oh, hey. More... Nope. Normal speech, not crazy speech. Crazy! Rourke has told me he found the master in the manor searching furiously for something in the dust. Rourke was at the well, and then he saw that the door was open. Lord Nemez was in there, saying strange things. He won't find it. Where to put it? He commands me. Plus, Rourke saw his burn mark smoking, and then it started glowing. He's turned mad as well. Supposedly, the master scared him, started staring him down with silent, blank eyes. Rourke still has goose flesh about it. I don't know if it's connected, but the master was violent this evening. From the noise he was making, he must have been knocking furniture over. Tomorrow, we'll all have to clean up for sure. What I don't understand is what he was doing in the manor. He wants to die crushed by a beam or what? Well, he just might. There's a pagan book. Obviously, that'll turn people mad. And, uh, mad with lust for the idea of saying pagans are cool. I think that might be all the loot here. I am going for trying to find all the loot. 
but I haven't even found the required amount yet, so this thing is going to rather go on for a while. I probably reckon there's a valuable statue somewhere. I might have found it already. I don't even know, but I think it's high time that I leave it here now that I've got the key from the ashes and the dust. I think I shall exit this spooky building. Only not because there's one room. Okay, I'll do this one last room and then uh, I will exit this spooky building. I think that there may be something up top here. It just seems a little <laughs> suspect is 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 all. There's some kind of differing texture up there. Let me just see. No, it's not really anything. Odd and disappointing. This must be unlocked by one of the keys, but I'm going to do this next time. So until then, see you guys later for actual Halloween. And bye for now.